Okay, guys, I'm going to explain um, today's activity. So the aim of this activity is to understand the causes and the effects of poverty in a specific community. You're going to do a problem tree analysis. Okay, here's the name of the, the activity. You're going to do this on a paper, no computer. Here's the objective. You can read this at home. And this is going to be due Friday, April 17th. Um, and you're going to send the image through CEO web. Okay, and I'm going to explain these two examples. So, what is a problem tree analysis? Well, it's an overview of all the known causes and effects of a specific problem. It is also a visual organizer that helps you arrange your research findings and information. Remember, causes are directly related to the core problem. They could be primary and secondary causes, which we're gonna see some examples, and causes produce the effects. Each cause can produce more than one effect. We're gonna see examples. So here are the examples. This is the format I want you to use. You see how they use a tree, the parts of the tree, the, the trunk, the roots, and the branches. It's also uh, colorful, and they use all the space of the paper. Now, I want you to look to the right. Here is um, an example with information. So the co core problem always goes in the middle or in the trunk. Teenagers don't finish school. So what is a cause? One of the causes that they don't finish school is parents don't encourage them. That's a primary cause. And then this cause has secondary causes. Parents don't think school is important and parents are too busy to discipline or support their children. Okay, so then this cause has a direct effect. What's a direct effect? That in the future, they're gonna have difficulty finding a job. And what's the secondary effect of this? Is that their income is gonna be low. They're, not, they're, gonna, have, they're gonna have a low salary as professionals or workers. So, um, last class we discussed the article, we, we discussed your findings, some of you um, identified causes and effects, and you should now have a list. You should, you should have created a list already with causes and effects, all based on the article uh, you guys read on Wednesday. So, steps to create a problem tree analysis. First, you need to have all your materials ready. That means paper, pens, um, pencils, markers, colors, and you need to have your list of causes and effects. And think about anything else you might need. Okay, step two is you're gonna create this on a paper. I want you to be creative. I want you to use different colors and all the space. Remember the parts, the trunk, is the core problem, the roots are the causes, and the branches are the effects. Now, step three is, I want you to answer the following question. Is poverty related to a lack of cash or a lack of character? I want you to answer this in one paragraph using the hamburger structure. But you need to use a minimum of two examples from the article. Copy and paste the link and um, fill out the Google form. Step four is you're going to need to send me the image of your problem tree through a seal web message. Okay, so I want you to, to um, I, want, I wanted to give you some examples so we, we could clarify what are causes and effects. So first, everybody's going to have the same core problem, poverty in the lives of youngsters in the Cherokee tribe. Okay, I've identified two causes. There's more than two. And you can have the same causes, it's okay, but there's more than two causes. One of the causes I identified was mental health problems, and another one was alcohol and drug use. Okay, these causes produce an effect. The effect for mental health problems are con conduct problems and behavior problems. That means crime or defiance in school. Now, the effect of alcohol and drug use is drug abuse, drug addiction, okay? So remember, the causes produce an effect. 
the effects are the results or the consequence of the causes. Okay, this is it. Um, if you have any questions, please write me and I'll be happy to answer them.